thousands of unfilled registered nurse positions in Florida right now. Yeah, local colleges tonight racing to train new people for those jobs. As ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner found out, schools are using a job simulator. What about the aspirin? Can we take any aspirin or baby aspirin? As a patient struggles to breathe, to? These paramedic students are learning how to react. Oh, this apartment is actually inside a Hillsborough Community College classroom building. Their new simulation lab also includes a space designed to look and feel just like a hospital. It replicates a hospital. Beds, IV poles, it has drawers in there that have blankets, gloves, gauze. Molly Gonzalez wants to be a nurse, but going straight from a classroom setting to real patients in a real hospital can be intimidating. And these simulations help bridge that gap. Like, wow, you know, I can practice this and the mannequin is not going to judge me. And it's not just about comfort. We need the respiratory department to go in. These kinds of labs are a popular training tool for colleges across the country. So if HCC students are going to compete, the school needed to upgrade. Having a simulation lab allows these students to get quality EMS and nursing education at community college prices and gets them to working in an in-demand field very quickly. If we can get them ready and do the first two years, they can work get their bachelor's degree, but they can already be out in the field and, and be working as nurses. Which is ideal for people trying to make ends meet while getting an education, like Molly Gonzalez. Many, many of my students, including myself, we want to um, go on to be nurse practitioners. We want to get master's degrees of nursing, and uh, we know that you have to start somewhere. Now, once she competes this program at HCC, Gonzalez plans to become a nurse and continue her education at USF. In Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.